I am a project geologist. Um, I work in uh, the near mine exploration department. Um, I've been in that role for a year. Started out as a contractor and now I'm a staff um, member of the mine. Um, the job involves a number of things, managing a series of drill rigs. Um, we operate a, a drilling program to um, extend the known mineralisation of the, the existing mine. Um, and the geological interpretation of the data that comes back from those drill rigs. Um, I work FIFO, which is flying flyout. Um, I live in Adelaide uh, and I fly out to the mine um, in northern South Australia. I work on a nine days on, five days off roster. Um, and when I'm up on site, uh, I live in a demandable unit of uh, a block of three individual rooms and I've got a fully equipped room uh, with my TV and bathroom and bed and desk and drawers and wardrobe and it's quite comfortable. My dad lives in Adelaide and it was the easiest option for me um, in terms of geography, um, Perth and most of the jobs in WA seemed like quite a, a long way to go and a big move. Adelaide seemed like a, an easier transition. I think initially when I came out of uh, my degree, I set myself a rough time limit of five years um, doing this kind of work. Um, I still think that's a pretty good guideline for how long I think I can tolerate um, this kind of lifestyle. Uh, however, if the boom continues and um, the rewards financial um, keep on going as they have been, um, I think it's going to be a difficult thing to walk away from. Um, the biggest factors will be its influence on my lifestyle, obviously, and my want to get back to some kind of normal life. Um, well, if I'm honest, I suppose that the biggest motivation for me staying with the company is the financial rewards involved with um, the mining industry at the moment. Um, the company I work for are extremely forward with their um, their training. Um, I'm getting trained in, in many aspects of the mining cycle, I suppose, that perhaps aren't even relevant to my job, but it's transferable skills and it's constantly improving the quality of their workforce, and that's fantastic. Um, I work for a fantastic team. My boss is a great guy. Um, really love the dynamic. Um, you know, the development of our team is is one of the things that you know keeps me going, keeps me excited about my job. Um, also, I suppose opportunities within the company to move into different sectors. Um, I work under exploration at the moment, but um, if I was to work in mine geology, um, being more involved with the actual process and operation of the mine, that would be interesting to me. And um, opportunities within the company would definitely be um, part of the reason that would keep me motivated and interested in the job. Um, I think not having a normal life, um, I don't really envy people who work um, Monday to Friday. I like having my five days off, but uh, I do miss out on a lot and I miss my family and my partner. Uh, it's, it's very difficult. Um, I think eventually that will catch up with me as well. Um, yeah. If my family life was to get more complicated, as in with a child or something like that, that would certainly motivate me away from the industry. I, I wouldn't like to leave my partner alone um, at a time like that. that would, yeah. I like to think that the most, the biggest motivation for me moving forward um, is training. Um, I'm trying to get myself involved as, in as much, uh, as many training programs as I can with the company. That anything that they're willing to put me through, I'll put my hand up for um, in towards the goal of having more transferable skills and perhaps get me into a city based job further down the track. Um, at some point this job will become too difficult um, in this lifestyle so I prefer to be in a city based role. Um, so any skills that I can get now that will get me there is basically my direction.